Hello. Hi, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Okay. I've never done this before on YouTube. So I have no idea if this is working. Right, can you guys hear me okay? I have no idea. Uh, okay, I'm gonna assume that everything is good and that you can hear me. Hopefully I'm not just talking to no one. No one can hear me. Okay, thank you to Leah. Okay, good, thank God. Hi guys, thank you for coming today. Um, obviously it is about to be a new uni year. So I thought it would be a good time to do a bit of a Q and A catch up advice session. Um, I get a lot of messages, DMs and comments and stuff um, obviously about living at college, what it's like. Um, and a lot of them kind of ask the same questions. So I thought that it would be easier to just kind of sit down and chat through it. And it's obviously easier as well than doing a full like edited video. I don't know. So I thought I'd give a live stream a go. Um, and I've got some questions that I've kind of collated through like a majority of my DMs, like what a lot of them tend to ask. But if you have any specific ones or anything that I haven't covered, just chuck it in the chat um, and I can answer them. So I, yeah, so obviously um, I'll be talking about my experience living at residential college. I went to the uni, or well, I go to the uni of Melbourne um, and I lived at college for two years um and I've just moved out but I lived at one of their colleges there um so I don't know I'm pretty sure a lot of the colleges around Australia are kind of similar um with in like the general kind of sense of what a college is but a lot of them do have different like facilities and sizes and um yeah, so I can only speak to my college and where I lived and how my experience was. But um, hopefully there's just some general advice in here if you're starting college or anything like that. So let me get my questions. Oh, can you see me when I go off the screen? Um, okay, so I had quite a few questions recently, obviously with the timing about applying to college and getting into college so I thought I'd touch on that first because um pretty sure applications are still open um at uni Melb and possibly at other colleges around Australia so um firstly is it hard to get into college I feel like I got this question quite a few times and I feel like it's sometimes made to be kind of like a selective um kind of like thing I don't know people think that it's really hard to get into college but if you apply to a college at uni Melbourne you're guaranteed to get into a college um even if it's not the one that you apply to so I know with our my college that I went to basically you won't really get rejected from that college because they don't have very strict um like acceptance criteria um so they just kind of want you to be a good person, basically. And they just want you to to know that you're you're gonna like fit in well and you're gonna be able to get along with people. That's basically their only criteria um, at my college. Other ones might be more specific with like you might have um, if you have good grades or if you have if you have like a elite athlete or anything like that. So um, 
yeah, it kind of, again, depends on the college, but in general, you will not be um, left not going to college if you want to go to college and you do apply to college. Um, and how, yeah, what the application process is. So, again, with my college, um, it was just a form, I'm pretty sure, online, and then there was a written little section that you had to send in, like, a kind of about me page it was like it was they called it a cv but it was more just kind of about you and then they do an interview um a virtual interview and they use kind of what you talk about in that written um you know statement thing that you submitted to kind of talk to you about you know things that you like and they just kind of want to get a sense of who you are as a person um so like in my interview we talked about music and about you know, songs that I liked and stuff like that. So there was nothing really hard to answer. It was just like ch chatting with a friend. Um, and yeah, so it's a pretty easy process. And my advice, if you're applying, is to just be honest and just be yourself and, and not try and kind of say things that are, that you want them to, like, you know, you don't want to sound smart. You want to sound smarter. You want to sound sporty or anything like that. Just be yourself. And because I'll be able to tell kind of in the interview. Um, who you are um, so yeah that's basically the application process and then um, yeah what do they ask in the interview is just kind of um, about you and kind of why you think that why you want to go to college why you think you'd be good at college and um, yeah they they might ask like one kind of question that's a bit deeper I guess um, I can't remember what mine was, but it was something about like conflict, like how would you deal with conflict or something like that, um, which again is just them trying to make sure that you're not being fake and kind of just sussing you out. Um, but yeah, nothing to stress about. And my interview was just like chatting with a friend, basically. We just kind of chatted for an hour and it was really chill. Um, so yeah, nothing stressful, nothing to stress about. And you will get into a college if you do apply to one. Um, 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 okay. How was the location of college? Um, so our college was all of the college. Okay. That's not true. Uh, like mm, eight out of 10 of the colleges at UniMelv are all literally on the corner of, on the outside of UniMelv. Um, so you like walk out of your college and it's like a two minute walk to your class basically um so the location is amazing and then there's two other colleges at uni melb who are kind of like a little bit further away um but not too far at all obviously the point of going to college is so that you can go to uni so um they're so easy to get to uni um and then where all of the uni melb colleges are the location is amazing there's shops everywhere um it's close to the city it's yeah, it's a really close to parks. Um, so the location is amazing because um, you're right kind of in the middle of Melbourne. So it's really easy to get around and really easy to kind of explore everywhere. And yeah, so location is nothing to worry about. Location is great. And um, that's another one. What, what are the facilities like? Um, Again, depends on the college. Our one was kind of on the smaller scale compared to the other ones. So we had, um, in general, like where our college was, with our like the size of the college was a bit smaller, but um, we had a tennis court, um, a pool kind of room, like a, a JCR, which is like the common room. Um, we had courtyards, we had a car park, um, and like a heap of study rooms there's obviously wi-fi included um with your college stay um and what else but the facilities are really good and um it's a lot a lot of it is up to the students so it's kind of like you know if you want more couches you just ask for more couches and I'll kind of like give you a tv and everything like that so um yeah the facilities are really good oh, and they're lagging no, okay um and yeah it depends on the 
the size of the college that you go to if you go to some of the bigger ones they tend to have kind of more money in them and they tend to have kind of bigger facilities and um more like modern facilities but um yeah the facilities are great have you seen the car park where Mad Max was filmed no is that in Melbourne I have not actually there's a place down the road that kind of I've seen like a couple of movies being filmed there and that was in a car park so maybe that's the car park I'll have to google have to research that um okay what else um yeah okay kind of a general question which um yeah which is like my most common asked question was just how was my experience in general um and I also kind of along with that get questions saying like my um I've kind of heard some bad things or my parents are kind of nervous about sending me to college because they you know have heard about the bad stuff so in my experience my time at college was great there was nothing kind of um bad that personally happened to me it was a really nice friendly environment um on the whole um but of course like you know, when you're living in a place with over like at least 300 people in it, there's things that are going to happen, but um, they do a really good job of, well, they, you know, the uni does, tries to um, promote, you know, self, safe, like, and healthy, like, um, behaviours with like alcohol and drugs and all of that stuff. So um, they do, obviously, they don't let it fly or they try, you know, they do their best not to let it fly under the radar. Um, and, um, yeah, my experience has been has been good with that. I've not been subject to anything um, that's been, like, harmful to me or may, had a bad experience um, at college. And the things that I do know of have um they don't kind of just sweep it under the rug like you kind of some can hear about sometimes in the news um but yeah so I would say on a, on the whole it is a really safe environment and you will feel um safe and looked after and kind of cared for and the positives like the negatives are just like a one in a hundred kind of experience that um is definitely not worth kind of turning you away from from going to a college um and yeah it's just it's not it doesn't happen that often and they've become really good with it over the past few years as kind of the awareness of of you know bad college experiences comes out in the media and I literally just read a book that was about um college in in Sydney and you know kind of the whole bad experience with college in Sydney and yeah, so since like that, that kind of whole thing has come out, they've been really good at, at looking after it and kind of taking steps towards um, making sure that everyone feels safe all the time. But yeah, my experience was good on the whole, and um, yeah, I wouldn't would not let you t let anything that you hear kind of turn you away um, because it is like really really unlikely. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answers that question. Um, Shaylee has asked, how is the party slash social life in college? It depends kind of who you are, like you kind of can, can choose. Um, so if you're not a partier, you don't have to party. And if you are a partier, then you can party. Um, so there, I never really felt kind of, which was, I guess was a really good thing at college. Like I had to go to parties or I, had to I kind of never felt like peer pressured I guess with that which was kind of nerve-wracking for me going into college because I was like young I was freshly 18 and um I was scared that it was going to be really overwhelming like drinking every night and everything like that but you don't you don't have to and if you want to then I'm sure you know you can find the friends um that will do that with you but um the college puts on um a mix of both drinking and non-drinking events throughout the year and then even at those drinking events it's not it's kind of supervised uh, the ones that college puts on are supervised um and are kind of have been monitored um and you don't have to drink at them I guess so yeah it's it's good if you um 
if you want to you know party and drink all the time but if you if you're not comfortable with that then um yeah you don't have to at all um but yeah we just kind of like a lot of our I guess drinking nights haven't really happened at college um so we normally go out um which is like an awesome thing about living in Melbourne is there's so much around and pubs and clubs and stuff to go to so entirely optional and voluntary obviously um, but in terms of like, um, again, going back to kind of those bad college experiences that you do hear about, um, they've worked really hard on reducing hazing, um, which is, um, again, has kind of come out in the media over the past few years about hazing practices um, in like hazing stuff during O Week and stuff like that at other colleges. But um, at least Uni Melb has like kind of, um yeah steps that they take to stop that and you you wouldn't experience um at least from my experience at my college um there's literally no hazing and if there is any kind of hazing it is um like entirely like optional I guess and um yeah I don't know so so you never have to drink and never forced to do anything um at college and there's a real focus on that in our week so yeah um someone asked what to pack um and my answer to that is I have a video coming out hopefully this week it will come out this week because I've filmed it um and I'm going to share my um packing list that I have used over the past two years which has literally everything on it that you would need to bring to college um and plus I also have like my a couple of my favorite kind of things that I've just had at college over the past couple of years like really weird specific things that I have just really found really helpful um, and useful so I will share that this week um but they should also give you a packing list at your college but the best thing about it is that you can kind of pack like the bare minimum and then go shopping when you get there when you know what your room's like what you need um and everything like that so I we all went to Kmart um a couple of days after moving in and just went crazy and bought a heap of stuff so you don't really need to pack that much but just kind of bare essentials bare, bare essentials um and yeah and then the rest you can buy um but there's nothing really specific that I was thinking like when I was filming this video there was nothing that I was like if you are going to pack one thing this is what you pack because again yeah you can just buy everything there and um yeah so don't let packing stress you out because I was also really overwhelmed when I was packing I was like I have no idea what I'm going to need to bring um I guess just pack enough to last you through a week like the week that you get there because you might they might not give you time to go shopping they did with us we had like an allocated couple of hours to go shopping but they might not um so yeah I guess I don't know if that makes sense I guess I could bring a doona cover bring a pillowcase or anything, something like that um because you yeah gonna need that on the first night that you get there um what was the food like um it's college food it's food that's made on mass to um serve 300 flight 500 people so um it's fine and it's edible and um I obviously have eaten it for the past two years and it's fine some of the meals are actually really good um but don't expect kind of anything like luxurious or gourmet um so yeah it's good and they have um they tend to have options for for everything so vegetarian um vegan I don't know anything else um they tend to kind of yeah appeal to everyone but don't kind of expect anything amazing because it is college but yeah it's not too bad um and it's all edible um yeah and they have some good meals we had I, at our college, we have high tables, which I think they have at most colleges, um, where you get a three course meal and it's meant to happen twice a week in like a non COVID year. Um, but they give you a three course meal and it's so good. So that's when you can expect gourmet if you have a high table. Um, 
So yeah. Um, okay. What goes on in O week? Um, what's a bit of both kind of a bit of everything because they try and appeal to everything and everyone um, and they try to do big groups and small groups and kind of try to make friends, you know. So um, a lot goes on in a week, but it's a very tiring week. I'm not going to lie, but it is so much fun and um, it's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime thing that you kind of, um, yeah, I guess we'll never do again. So it is a heap of fun. Um, and you do kind of activities that are like sober activities that might be t- team building activities. Um, you at, at Uni Melbourne, I'm pretty sure all the colleges do the same thing where you get put in a team um, throughout the week and you have leaders who are other college students. So um, you will do like team building and like activities to get to know the people in your group, which is a good starting point, obviously, um, to meet a few people. And then they might have like bigger events like parties um, where you can kind of spread out a bit more and socialise and meet some other people. Um, But, yeah, I guess a lot goes on in O-Week and it's really fun and I just kind of embrace it if you are um, starting uni because it's going to be tiring and it's going to be probably overwhelming at times too but you kind of have to remind yourself that it is like the only time um in your life when you'll do all of this stuff and jam pack it all into a week so yeah but it's a really really good week if you don't know anyone um that's going to your college or anything like that it is you'll come out of it with um friends and with a lot of like familiar faces and you'll feel so much better after that first week. It's there to make you feel comfortable. So um, it definitely does its job and it's lots of fun. Um, but I guess, yeah, take care of yourself during a week um, as well. Take rests and tap out if you need to because, yeah, I remember in my one I was just so tired like halfway through. So I just had to kind of take half a day off and go and sleep it off and then revive myself. Um, but, yeah. Does anyone have any more questions? I think oh, the only other question I had written down was do other people from other unis go to your college? So my college, yes, but I think we are, I think there might be only one other college that does take um, non-uni MELB students. So because all of the colleges are under uni MELB, um, they yeah most of the colleges are just uni male students um but ours yeah took pe- people from ACU um RMIT which is really good because you get a variety of um people studying like really interesting stuff like someone who studied dance at, like BCA or um you know yeah a variety of people and a variety of degrees so I really liked actually that was probably um definitely a positive of my college over the other colleges was um people coming from other people coming from other unis um but yeah it depends on on the college okay if that is all seeing there's no more questions hopefully that answers that gives like a good overview of the most commonly asked questions. Um, I do have a college Q&A video that I have done um, a couple of, a while back that um, answers some more questions similar to this. So you can go and check that out and also my room tour and just my blogs in general. Hopefully we'll give you a bit of a, an insight into um, what college is like. Uh, packing wise do you have any tips of things not to bring and bring um I kind of mentioned this before um I've got a video coming out this week where I I don't know if you were here for this bit Lauren but I have a video coming out where I'm going to give my packing list and um the things that I loved having in my room but I was kind of saying that you don't really I don't know you can't really go wrong because if you forget anything you can just go and buy it um or um yeah, there's nothing really that you shouldn't bring and bring. Um, 
yeah I don't know it's kind of hard to kind of hard to say but hopefully my packing list will give you a good idea and even things like little things like an extension cord or something like that um which I like just found so useful (laughs) um in my college room I put on that list so hopefully there's kind of some stuff on there that you'll be like oh good idea um but yeah you can't really really go that wrong if anything I just underpack um because the storage might not be that great if you you know a lot of the rooms don't have very good storage um so I'd probably underpack if you can and then just buy stuff there or um kind of figure it out once you're in the room once you see what you've got going on um and yeah oh I'm just getting a message about a uni student's weekly expenses um I guess maybe I should put that in another video I would definitely put that in another video because um maybe like a uni kind of related Q and A, um, but I'm going to relate it back to college just because this is a college Q and A. Um, you kind of don't pay weekly rent for college; you pay it in semesters. So um, I guess you pay rent weekly, but you know. Um, and then other than that, it's just like socializing money basically because food and wi-fi and bills like utilities is is all included in your um rent for college which you've already paid so um yeah just kind of spending money um there's not really many other uh, like costs throughout the week that you need to pay to the college or anything which is again is like a good, good thing about college is that everything is included in that fee um but i will happily do a weekly expense video or something like um budgeting video even for uni students um because yeah I'm now moved out of college and I'm trying to yeah figure it all out as well so I'm happy to brainstorm something up to do that but living in Melbourne is is expensive at times but um I yeah we can find some some student hacks um to save some money but yeah in terms of college not many weekly expenses just kind of that lump fee at the start of the semester and yeah okay I'm gonna end this one here um perfect timing 27 minutes thank you guys so much for coming and watching hopefully that was really helpful and I will save this video if you want to come back and watch it again um and yeah I will see you all in my next video thank you guys for coming